Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm here with my wife, Cynthia. Hey, how are y'all? <laughs> and today we're going to be, well, I'm going to be playing Mario 64. Um, so she played this game a little bit as a kid, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a 64 master. And by that I mean uh, I am perfectly mediocre at it. I, can... I remember just like jumping to the paintings <laughs> and like trying to make the castle flood. That's really all oh, yeah. I remember. Draining the castle. Oh, no, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> Can I get out of here? Ooh. Big ooh. <laughs> oh no. We're having some uh, technical difficulties. Um. The. That's very awkward. Um. Bear with us. Give me one second. I'm gonna get the game started. So, uh, how far do you think you've made it in this game when you played it as a kid? The main thing I remember doing is, like, getting the water out of that bottom part like of the bridge. Yeah. But I didn't really just, like, I think me and my sisters just played on the same game. And we just helped each other, so I definitely didn't do it by myself. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I, uh, you know there's, like, four different options for four different games? Yeah. We just played we all on shared the same one. one. Yeah. Uh, that's about uh, doing the uh, the draining the water is about halfway through the game, so that's not bad. Yeah, that's all I remember, honestly. I think I've only actually beaten this game like two times. As much as I played it, I usually don't commit to like ever beating it. Now, uh, when I bought this originally for like the, the remake, I did uh, get to like 41 stars or something like that. So I'm only a few away from beating it on my uh, the first profile. But hopefully, YouTube can motivate me to. Beat the entire game. Again? Yeah. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Um, one thing I love about this game, right, is you saw the little guy with the camera. Because this was like one of the first 3D games. They introduced like a cameraman <laughs> to like help people with small brains understand. Why it was 3D? Yeah. See, Look, I just is. feel like when I played it, you know all that grass area like behind you? Yeah. Like I remember there was being so much more stuff. I feel like I'm done. I feel like like because this was like huge when you were a kid, right? Yeah. Like it felt like you could play out here for hours. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. But uh. I thought, I thought there was like puzzles and shit out there, but it's not. I'm no. so confused. No, nah, all there is to do. I, I definitely, I can relate. I definitely spent like hours when I was like six or whatever, just it's running like around. Running out there. Yeah. yeah. That's what I, Let's go ahead and go through the first painting. Also, um, I had a really hard time getting past like the first three rooms in this game as a kid, but I, I did eventually figure it out. But I never really made it past um, like the ice level, like for the first uh, few times I played. So what's the main difference between those black bombers and the red bombers? Um. Nothing. Well, uh, first of all, they're African American bombers, and I'll have you uh, <laughs> treat them respectfully. Uh, the ba the black ones are evil; they're like the bad guys, and the red ones are good, and they're like a war. They're like mm -hmm. they're like fighting each other. The red ones are good, and they well, they're like, like storyline kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's like the Great Babam War, you know. Uh, it all started when they wanted to enslave the red bombs. I don't know if that's true. I thought you were making this up. Are no. you making this up? Yeah, it's all made up. Uh, what's the real reason? There, I don't know if there's actually any lore to it. Um, well, like, no, I mean, like, in the game, what do they do differently? I, I think if you talk to them enough, they will kind of say, like, there's a war between them. But all you really need to know is the red ones are good, and they'll help you out by opening up, like, little cannons and so stuff. they don't bomb when you get near them, like, other ones? No, no, they won't. Yeah. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. It's a little, uh, racist that they made the, the black ones evil. I have to say. Maybe they didn't mean it. No, it's because of they the the bomb bombs have been in the like the original Mario games forever, so they were they always black because that's what color like cartoon bombs are, and then like they added red ones in this game just Even to like, like cannons and like right the right old that's just what they look like. They just made them red to like separate them from the bad ones. See to me, red is bad. Yeah, maybe we're evil. Mario is also red. True. Mario is such a main character. Yeah. He's got the main character in. Who's your favorite Mario character? I don't want to say. Because I'm getting judged. Yeah. It's, uh, it's Yoshi, right? The furry? Yeah, see, I'm, I have no answer. <laughs> Ever since I saw that TikTok video saying, if you play with Yoshi and Mario Kart, you're a furry. I just, I just can't do it. Come on, man. He's... I just like when he goes, get on. Yeah. 
Um, he sticks out his tongue, which is so funny. My favorite Mario character is Isabel, but she's not from Mario. She's from Animal Crossing. Doesn't so, count, though. Yeah. What is your favorite Mario? Like, my straight-up favorite Mario, like, character. Like, Mario story character. Um, I guess, honestly. Oh, Rosalina. Rosalina is my favorite. I was gonna say Mario, but Rosalina is actually my favorite. She's just not in the older games. Oh, what was your opinion about the Bowser girl? Bowser girl? The one's like hot and they... Well, she's hot, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I thought it was a little weird. It originates because I think there's a power-up where Toad, um... To they, Toadette can become a boy or Toad can become a girl. One of those two things. And then they, they um... I don't know. I don't know the story, like, truly behind it, but I think there was, like, an in-game thing that could happen in one of, the, like, the DS games or something. Oh, so that's not a real thing. Uh, what is it called? It's like a crown. They can turn a toad into a toadette. And no, it's I'm saying the Bowser girl. Bowser. Bowser. So that's not a real thing. Like, that's, like, No, man yeah, yeah. Like, so the idea is that this crown, this, like, crown can turn a toad into the toadette. And so they were like, what if we put it on Bowser, like, some uh, horny teenager was like, let me draw Bowser, but a human girl with, with big crown. boobies. I'm gonna race this fucking turtle. This was, I always thought uh, this was uh, so difficult as a kid. And I think it's just because my little brain couldn't comprehend, like, doing, like, these little obstacles, like this bridge and stuff well. But this is definitely, like, the easiest star in the game now. I mean, it doesn't make sense. No, you have to do it again. Well, now you're just racing this turtle. Oh, come on, jump. Well, you're gonna beat him. It's a little harder, to, in my opinion, to do the long jump with the, um... Oh, there he goes. Wait, how is he running up the hill? He's just a cheater. Jesus Christ. It's a little harder to do the long jump in the, the Switch remakes than in just the original 64 controller. But I don't when know. When you say long jump, you mean just, like, jump in, jump in a longer time? No, when he does that woohoo thing and he, like, really jumps. I'll show you in a second. Why is it harder, the controller? Yeah, the, you know, the 64 controller was so different. That jump right there. The 64 controller was so different. I think the trigger was just more like like a trigger and not like a, what we look at as triggers today. It was actually like on the back of the controller at the bottom. Climb up this tower. Look at your boy. Michael from the office. When he gets annoyed and he's like, Jim's like, I bet in an hour in the first hour he <laughs> says, I'm on top of the world. Yeah, that is uh kind of Michael Scott energy. So Mario is Michael Scott energy. Okay. Mario Scott. <laughs> Mario Scott. <laughs> what the hell? Nice. It's my high school. Does Mario have a last name? Mario Jumpman Mario. I was going to say Lopez. Mario <laughs> Lopez. Isn't he Mexican? Shoot to the island. Uh, Mario cool. Lopez is Hispanic. You just jump right back in the same Yeah, you can do different missions. What the hell? Mario Lopez is Hispanic. I don't know if he's Mexican. He might be like uh, Puerto Rican or something. Did you ever just like wake up in the middle of the night and George, George Lopez was playing? Every single night. Right, exactly. I love I never watching. watched it. I loved watching it. Me and my sister, my older sister, would I watch it all the time. I didn't think he was very funny, honestly. I got nothing against him. He seems like I a really... I just watched it because I stayed up late, and that's like mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do. Like, he's a genuine human. Don't me wrong. I got nothing against the guy. I just don't think he's funny. I didn't think his show was funny. I don't remember anything funny about the show, so... I'll tell you what show I did think was funny as a kid. Probably not funny to me now. The Nanny. Yes, I watched that on Nanny, uh... What's her name? Yes. She's... Oh, my God. I loved her. I literally, I watch that more than George Lopez. Yeah. I think George Lopez was just on Why do they more. quit playing those shows? Um, because they're bad for kids. Um, and their moms don't want them to watch it. That's, I think that's good for you. Watching George Lopez? I mean, what was wrong with it? Yeah, um. Exactly. He said curse words. No, he did not. Didn't he? I don't know. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I don't know. Say? I'm about to look this up right now. Did George Lopez cuss? It is a little old, though. Even You know, like, for today's standards. But still, it's so blurry. Yes, sir. A little stripper dance down the tree, and... I don't know. We'll come grab our star. Oh, my God. 
Every time there's a star like on a platform somewhere with no ground, I'm afraid I'm gonna fall right off trying to get it. So apparently, he's actually gotten canceled recently. The actors were close like to cancel him. cultured. Yeah, cancel culture because he like cussed out a fan for no reason. Oh, Georgie. But it doesn't like they they made inappropriate jokes on the show, but he never just like you know fuck bitch so nothing like that. Okay. But why did they take... I, they, his show's definitely been off for a while. Why did they take it off specifically? Maybe he just stopped making them and they don't do reruns. Because, you know, they get paid for reruns. Yeah. Probably just don't want to pay him anymore. Something, I think probably because he got canceled. I mean, I feel like his show's been off with Nick for a while. But I don't know. I'll see when it, when it ended. I mean, I think the show ended in, like, the 90s. Or at least the early 2000s. So we're just running around getting these red coins. I look, this is so cool. Like, it really isn't something you think about now. It ended in 2007. Really? That's a long time. It had 128 episodes over six seasons. I feel like that's not a lot of episodes for how many Why did it end? seasons. Maybe I just think it's older than it is. Okay. Apparently they were losing money. So... Um, Steve McPherson called him. He's apparently the president of yeah. ABC at the time. Called him over the weekend explaining that the network would lose money if the show was picked up again and that it wasn't doing well financially. That's uh, that's kind of sad, but I guess that's the... Uh, that's six seasons. That's the, you know, how showbiz goes. After he got canceled? George Lopez teases new TV series upcoming 2020. Related to 2021? Yeah, so that didn't happen. Apparently. That was fake news. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't mean to go up there. I think they should bring back the nanny instead of George Lopez. Yeah, Even like if they have show. to recast the nanny. <coughs> <coughs> I tell you a cartoon I used to love that only came on like late at night, but no one knows what it is. What? Except for me. Um, it was called, it came on uh, Nickelodeon, but it had, like, I forget what the channel was called. It was kind of like the cartoon late night Nickelodeon, like the weird, like, kind of like Disney XD. It was like the weird Nickelodeon, and I don't think they do it anymore either. But, um, it was called Kappa Mikey, and I don't know, maybe, you know, do you know what that is? No. It was about an American guy who, um, he's a cartoon, right? But he's American, and he moves to Japan to become an anime star, <laughs> because in this world, anime is live action. What the hell? Oh, Lord. I feel like if I saw it, I'd probably remember it, but it I can't think of it off the top of my head. It was so funny, but, uh, now, you know, probably, like, going back, it wouldn't How be. How did we get on this drawer? Oh, because I called him a Mexican. That's... Is that why... Is that how we got on George Lopez conference? I think so. Whoa! You always get hit by that. Whoa! I'm sick of these damn bubbles. Where's the star at? There it is down there. Go, Mario. I can't wait to beat this game on the YouTube channel so that I can start Mario Sunshine on the YouTube channel. Mario Sunshine's that other game you're playing? Yeah, with the water gun. I didn't like that one. I thought it was a little boring. I yeah. think it's fun, but, you know, to each their own. What's the see? You're just like a cleaner. Is that Mexico? Huh? He's Mexican? Mario's not Mexican. He's Italian. I kept asking you, is he Mexican? He I thought you were talking about George Lopez. No, I called him a Mexican. I said his last name was Lopez. No, his last name is Mario. His name is Mario Jumpman Mario. But I said he was Lopez, and I said, I said he's Mexican. You didn't correct me. I did. I said no. That's the that's the guy. But you didn't say he was a Mexican. Look at that. Oh, so Mario's Italian. He likes spaghetti. Yeah. I think his favorite's pizza and spaghetti. What? Spaghetti. Oh yeah, it is. There's like a little um clip of him going lots of spaghetti. Here we go. I think Did that's. You do the yeah, he goes like that's like success, you know. Like, oh. All right, we got five stars already. What is the Lord like? Like, how did... I want to know the actual story behind 
Mario? Like, is there like a whole plot line, or is it just like Peach got stolen? From yeah, the there's, there's a little plot line. I mean, it's not real intense, but there's a plot line. Like, so, how does Yoshi come in the mix? Well, Yoshi's a dinosaur. He raised Mario when Mario was a baby. What the frick? <laughs> and uh, Yoshi's uh, video game, I think uh, Yoshi World or uh, SuperYoshi.com or something. Uh, you see um, baby Mario, you get to like, play as Yoshi and carry him around. And you can like throw little explosive eggs at people who try and kidnap your child. No, that's a real game. I mean, forget exactly what it's called. I didn't play it, but like one time as a kid. But see, I'm not gonna play on this because I think people would just make fun of me because I can't play. No, you'd be good at it. Well, if you watching like a child play. Do you think you can make it as far as I have? Well, no. What's more, we I played a little bit and I made it to this level, but I didn't finish. Yeah, that's true. You didn't. Uh... But I didn't do all that stuff you did. Oh yeah, you you're supposed to like. A lot of people always skip past the first time. After they beat the first level, they're like, Alright, that's it. I'm going to the next one. But I feel like you're supposed to... Oh, no! Get all the stars out of each level before you move on. Or at least the, the ones you can. Sometimes you have to go back, like, to get power-ups and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Mostly, uh, I try to beat as much as I can with the first time. So I don't have to keep coming back to the level. Uh, this used to stress me out. I'm not very, like, coordinate with, like, you know, my moving and how steady I am. And doing this part uh, was awful for me as a kid. Just run back. Look at that man's eyes. What the hell? Why do your eyes go that way? That's not like the teeth part. Oh, the teeth are cool. He looks like he has Bubba teeth. You remember those? From Walmart, you know, you can put like a quarter in the machine and you get the little bubble teeth and they're like messed up. Oh, and yeah. you wear them. The ones that we, we saw some of the dogs for dinner all day. Oh, yeah. I tried to trick her, like, her, uh, like, little, little sister who is like four or five. Yeah. Is she four or five? She's four. Four. I tried to trick her into buying, like, fake poop. Yeah, she was not having it. She was like, that's disgusting. But I, I thought it would be funny, like a little prank. I don't even know if she got her uniforms on. I don't know. Well, <laughs> we took her to Dollar General while we were like watching her for a little while and bought her some slime. And she might have left it in our car. <laughs> now there's probably hot, nasty-ass slime all over our car. Probably. Wait, I was just talking about how you're supposed to beat the whole level and then I immediately try to run away. <laughs> Did he say pickle? <laughs> yeah, he says hot pickle. What the hell? Nah, he says let's go, I think. Uh, and the uh, old Mario he used to say so long, gay Bowser. But now he just says uh, bye bye. Said they cut that out, right? Yeah, they cut it out. Which only proves that uh, in the original version, he did indeed say gay Bowser. Oh, what about the little sparkles on the game? Doesn't it say like gay or something? You're gay? Oh, and uh, Mario Sunshine, which is also part of this like three pack. Um, yeah, there's like stars on certain parts of the the um, title of the game, and all the stars. Uh, oh, we might be able to insert a clip or something. Yeah. But we'll try to show y'all. All the stars. Um, Can you get those coins? It's kind of bothering me. No, I'm not gonna get those. Please, no. please. Um, each each letter that has a star on it spells out you're uh, you're gay. I think. Yeah, that's what you're showing me. Which is pretty cool. And they didn't change it, and uh, I think the second one, I think both of them say it. Mario uh, Galaxy 1 and 2, so you definitely know it's intentional. That's so weird to me. Mario is a little homophobic. Climbing up this thing, climbing up this thing. This makes me think of those phone games. Oh, yeah. Where it's like you gotta bounce down and yeah, like knock yeah. the pillars down. Oh, I see a star over there. This has a pretty morbid backstory. There's another star over there. Oh, yeah. It's kind of hard to get that one, though. This, this has a morbid backstory, right? So when you kill that guy, he dies and becomes a tower. They really built him. Yeah. I'm built different now. I'm built different. That's just sad. That's, is it Thomp or Womp or something? Hmm? Is his name Thomp or Womp? It's a uh, Thwomp. Thwomp. I thought it was Womp. Um... 
I think the thwomp is the big blue one that kind of comes down like a spike ball. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the womp, I don't know. But I don't know. I mean, there's definitely a thwomp and a womp. I just don't know what the difference one is. See, then I'm going to get my cannon. And uh, this dude, I don't know how you're supposed to know how to do this as a kid. Like, I don't know what in the fuck they expected you to, like, to know this. I, I only know this through, like, friends in school and stuff. Like, how is a little kid supposed to know to do that? That's a great question. It's really bothering me how you're not getting the coins. There you go. No, you missed so many. You don't need the coins. Another oh my god. I thought it was like a mission to get all the red ones. Yeah, like, but star. I'm not doing it right now. Yeah, yeah, when you shoot the, um, the corner of this brick right here, it makes a star. Like, how's a kid supposed to know how to do that? There's no indication. It doesn't say, like, shoot the brick or anything. The mission's called, like, shoot into the blue or something. Blast oh, away the wall. that one's called blast away the wall. Okay, I was just doing the wrong mission, but... Okay. I mean, it's a little more fair, but still, that's pretty, like, weird. There's, like, 70 walls in this. Oh, I know which one this is. You have to, like, shoot in between, like, two platforms. This one sucks. So only the title of the mission gives you... Like a hint, yeah. A hint. Or Google, whichever one you prefer to use. I Google a lot of these that I never did as a kid. You, only, you don't have to do all the missions. You only have to do, I think, 50 to beat the game. Um, and there's 120 stars you can collect in all. <coughs> I believe. So, uh... I finally got a red one. Yeah. Crawl my ass across here. Hmm. So I don't Looks fall. like a baby trying to crawl. Holy shit. I almost fell. Please get those coins. Just do it for me. Okay. Time. Uh, you're not gonna do I am. It. I'm gonna go around and collect them all. Psych. Thank you. That's the wrong number. Yeah. Let me see if I can pull this off. Yeah. Nope. I'm trying to jump in between there. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Doing it the hard way, I guess. So I don't really know where to aim this cannon to, like... Seems about right. Yes, sir. That was pretty good. That was perfect. And you just slide on down here like a stripper and collect your star. I feel like the first, or the first level is easy, right? The very easy, the, the battlefield one. But then this one and the next one have a lot of really complicated stars. They're like, how in the hell would you know to do them? And then like the whole next section is so much easier. Uh, I'm gonna so do does every like every picture have like a certain amount of stars? I think there's six in each um, painting. Plus, uh, if you collect all the coins in the map. Come on, come on, owl. Boy! You don't. Yes. This part freaks me out, man, because I don't really know where, um. There it is. He's, he's, he's so hard to steer, though. Oh, he's getting too low, huh? Oh, shoot. So he just, go down and... he just keeps getting lower. Oh, we're gonna die. Come on. Is he gonna come back? Yeah, there he is. My owl boy. Okay. Missed my opportunity, I guess. To the right, to the right, to the right. Alright, this is much easier to see. All right. And now what you got to do the red coins. I was telling you to get those already. I know. I was saving it the best for last. We already got 10 stars, so we're one-fifth of the game through. How many stars do you need? 50. To beat the game. I'm pretty sure. Are there any red, red uh, coins down here? Nah. 
Okay. This thing I think is the thwom, and the other one is the wom. Nice. Oh. <laughs> There's a little bit of a delayed nice. Are you gonna end it after this? Yeah, I'll do these two levels and I'll, I'll end the episode. This one probably gonna go on a little long. I just wanted to. Well, you only had 25 minutes. I think you did good. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is probably about 30 minutes when I'm done. No. <gasps> Well, it wasn't a wasted trip. Yeah. My cat is like pushing on the tripod, and I'm terrified she's gonna knock it over. She's rubbing her face on. Oh her. my god! <laughs> okay, you're good. You're good. Go. Is it messed up? Let me just adjust y'all. Y'all just forget what's above that. There we go. God damn it, cat! Oh, it's it's bad. No, it's not too bad. Okay. Stop. What an asshole. Tabitha. You're adopted, you know. <clears throat> Alright, I have to very graciously and very carefully. She is still. Well, the, the, the tripod doesn't taste good. Stop fucking flicking it. What the hell? I'm gonna beat my cat's ass. Now, very graciously and very uh, smoothly. Collect these coins. Are you, are you happy now? Yes. Except you didn't get that shell. That's a mushroom. Whatever it was. I didn't need that. I hope I didn't miss any. Did I miss any? Oh, you know what? I think... Stop doing that. I think there's one up here, maybe. Or is it's either that or a mushroom. I don't see one. Just a mushroom. Sliding all the way down. I hope they're up here. I, I don't exactly remember. I saw one like where you flew when you got on that bird. Oh yeah, and, like the little cages. There, I see it over there. There's one over there too. I think I'm going the wrong way entirely. No, I almost fell off this whole mountain. Oh, god damn it, the camera angle. People always praise the camera angles in this game, and I, I think it's a great game, but like, no, the camera angles suck. They're the worst ever. Like, people shit on Sonic Adventure and then praise this game as the greatest ever, but uh, I've got to say that Sonic Adventure put this game to shame when it came to camera angles. Like, the camera angle in this game, hot garbage. Like, you can barely see... So careful. Yeah, that's the last one over there. Please put the star somewhere. All the way at the bottom? What the hell? Please don't kill me. Hello? Alright. Well, I guess that'll be it for this episode of Mario 64. We got 11 stars, so not bad. Um... I guess I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully we can get a uh, 22. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great afternoon. Bye. What if it's not the afternoon? Have a great rest of your whatever kind of day. Bye.